Be go! Breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Hypop wants to Hypop wants TSS to present Biafra supporters in court if they haven't killed them. Hypop wants DSS to prevent Biafra supporters in court if they haven't killed them. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. The Department of State Service and the Nigerian military have been ordered by the leadership of the indigenous people of Biafra to extradite Idara Gould and Henry to court if they haven't already been executed. The organization claims that because the DSS and other security authorities repeatedly failed to extradite the pair, it came to believe that they had perished while being held. The secessionist group said there was a massive military plot to transform Biafra land into a killing field while pleading with the international community and international human rights organizations to get involved. The group's director of media and publicity, Emma Powerful, stated this in a statement on Saturday, a copy of which was made available to Anna Edo online. The statements read in part, The indigenous people of Biafra, ably led by our great leader, Mazi Unamdekanu, wish to alert the world about the crime against humanity being perpetrated by the Nigeria government and its security agencies, especially DSS, and Nigeria military against our people in Nigeria. The security services have turned our people, they kidnap into sex machine and factory for organs harvest in many of their detention facilities across the country. High pop family members Surge as gold, Idara, and Henry abducted by the Nigerian DSS agent have fallen victims to this wicked act of organ harvesting because there is no evidence these people are still alive. Seven months after they were kidnapped, they are held in communicado and they have been denied access to their lawyers and family. The security agency on several of the court dates has equally failed to produce them in court to answer to whatever charges may be proffered against them. Having failed to produce these innocent people, to court or grant their lawyers access to them. We, the global family of the indigenous people of Biafra, is left with no other option than to alert the world community and the human rights organizations that the Nigerian Gestapo secret police, the DSS has murdered and have vested the organs of Idara Gold and Henry. Intelligence reports available to the global movement and family of the indigenous people 
of Biafra, ably led by our great leader, Mazi Unamdekanu, showed and indicated that Idara Gold and Henry who were illegally abducted at different places in Biafra land last year may have been summarily executed and their organs harvested by Nigerian Department of Security Services in collaboration with the Nigerian Army. That was the reason the DSS has been given films excuses on several locations now for not bringing the two innocent Biafrans to the court. The non-show appearance of Vidaral and Henry were deliberate in the hope that their news will fade away with time. Idara Gold was abducted in October 2021 in Anugu State for putting on Biafra attire during a birthday celebration. Initially, the DSS denied arresting Idara when she was declared missing by her friends and family members. After much pressure, DSS later acknowledged her arrest and transferred her to the DSS head office in Abuja after frantic efforts made by her lawyers, hype of lawyers and relatives to have access to her in DSS detention facility. In Abuja field, DSS claimed that she has been transferred to Wawa military detention facility in Kaiji in Niger State. This Wawa military detention facility is another abatio where Biafran youth are butchered and their organs are harvested for sales. The statement added Idara is not a military personnel, didn't commit any crime known to the law, nor she was involved in any military coup. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.